the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night. Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these things that you do apart from the presence of God. Very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. How can these things be? Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen, yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, you must be the Son of Man. So must the Son of Man be lifted up. And whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. The identification of Nicodemus as a Pharisee is critically important because we don't, you know, it's this anti-Semitism that often arises out of John's gospel, that it's not really a condemnation of Judaism as such. It is the attitude of a closed-mindedness that John is condemning. An unwillingness to hear. Nicodemus is quite the opposite. He's asking the question. He has the open mind. And that is essentially the rabbinic tradition to ask the question. And so he is being faithful to his own tradition. So he is the prototypical rabbi. So there's this whole notion of coming to awareness. There's this questioning by the Pharisee, Nicodemus. It was night. So, you know, I, and, and correctly so. Yes, he's coming in the cover of darkness because he's not sure. And he is um, worried about what his peers will say. He's a, he's a leader of the people. And his other... Uh, colleagues as member actually we find out later in the gospel he's a member of the Sanhedrin and we also find out that he is what he is one of the members who speaks up in defense of Jesus 